All right, YouTube, here we go. Uh, I'm not going to bore you guys with all the other BS. You've probably seen it. 2012 Chevy Malibu. Pain in the ass to uh, change your headlights. you got to go through taking the bumper off. Other videos are saying drop the whole undercarriage, plastic pieces, all that stuff. You don't need to do any of that. Um, so found a video from Leak Auto. They're on here too. Um, basically real simple. You know, you got to take off the whole top piece here. Um, wind up with a bunch of bolts like that. Be careful, there is two different bolts um, that are different. Actually, I should say there's four bolts that are different. Um, two bolts here are smaller. The other bolt here has a um, tapered edge there. You gotta keep an eye on that. And then on this side, over here, as they're describing, you don't really need to take off all these, all those other clips. You only need to take off the three actually here in the fender so you got one two three here and then you use an extension on your 10 millimeter socket stick it up in here turn the wheel stick it up into there that drops out your uh your bolt here that holds holds the fender on once you get that on you can pretty much just peel everything away see how the bumper is just kind of hanging here you don't have to worry about it drop it on the ground if you don't have a garage to put it in gravel concrete whatever you can actually just leave you know leave the bumper here not going to get damaged not going to mess anything up you got your one bolt here you got your other bolt here real simple pull those two bolts out you want to be cautious this is a 90 degree clip here again you know flimsy plastic 90 degree clip here that locks up underneath this so when you go to remove it you want to be real careful just kind of jiggle it and get the left side out first kind of see how it drops down a little bit and then get that clip it's kind of hard for me to do it with one, with one hand here but trust me um, if you do pull this side down too hard you will break off this little piece in the back here I'll show you in a second all right, so I got my son helping me now. So we're gonna take this and just, like I said, pull the left side a little bit, jiggle it down, to get that clip out of there. You you don't want to break that. There's one up here too. That one breaks off. Don't really worry about it because that bolt's gonna hold that in there. You don't even need to take the headlight out or anything. There's your bulb. That's your high beam if you want to change both of them. You know, I use the Silver Stars. A little bit of color difference, but you know, not too much. So anyway, real simple. Turn it, push your bulb in there, make sure you line up the prongs with where they go, otherwise it'd be real pain. Push it back in. Again, same thing, be careful. On that clip, and I want to line this pin up with the hole. And there's another one over here. Just kind of do them both at the same time. Drop it in. Push it back up. That's pretty much it. Um, so like I said, you don't need to worry about, people are saying blankets, all that stuff, pull your whole bumper off, everything, you don't need to do any of that. Um, again, right side, same thing. Um, bolt here, same clip, same idea. So, um, yeah. Good luck. Thanks a lot, Chevy. Makes a real nice pain in the ass to uh, change a simple light bulb. <clears throat> yep, thank you Chevy. Uh, so anyway, so when you get it all put back together, you can put your bolts and everything back on. Only thing you got to be careful is you're lining everything back up. These little clips, as you know, like I said, other videos. Just make sure you put your bumper, you can put the bumper back inside. So this here piece goes up and going to slide back in that groove there. And that's what's going to hold everything. Put all your clips, everything back together. And then uh, put your shroud radiator shroud cover back on and move it on back down the road all right thanks guys all right so <clears throat> pulling this back on i got one side already back on so i'm going to show you how this one goes so this one here like i said you got to make sure this little clip is above the headlight housing this is what keeps the bumper from mousing around and that's mounted um 
through the bottom plastic edge on the headlight. So make sure that's on the top, that's there. You're gonna wanna push up, up and push. And like I said before, this piece here is in that groove. You know, kind of push it around, get the edge lined up there. And just nice little old fashioned elbow grease pushing everything back. Back in, on. This one here, pull up. And again, same thing, make sure you're you just gotta keep things around. Just like that. There we go. So there it is. Back on. Again, same thing. You know this piece here. that thing back on and like I said you gotta be cautious these little bolts I marked it that one goes there this other one this one goes here and then you have your other little short one goes in right there other than that pretty much all the rest of the bolts on the top all the rest of the same size Except for this guy here, anybody loses that one, it goes right there. You can see the little hole. Drop that in there. That hold that holds up your uh, the uh, air air intake pipe. Um, so there we go. Good luck.